most ride a motorcycle hero. everyone welcome back to seek and destroy collects ghost rider right here on highway to hell and today the new ghost rider comic book comes out i'm going to go pick up a copy we're going to do like a spoiler free mostly review of it uh, but i do want to get a couple of the variants normally i don't collect variants i'm every you know every once in a while i might get one or two if it's like a cool venom one or something or if it's regular price but this time i'm actually going to go to multiple stores and try to get a couple different covers for this book i'm so excited i already read the digital copy last night i stayed up uh, i got home from work i got home late and then I stayed up like an extra hour and a half for the digital copy to be available on Comixology. I bought it, read it, uh, even read the script uh, because they put the director's cut version on there for $4.99. I was like, all right, that's worth it. I'll get the script. I'll get high res images of all the covers. Uh, so that way I could have some cool artwork to show when I'm making this video. And uh, and it, it was such a great read. I had a, a blast reading it, but I'll get into more specifics, but without spoiling too, too much um, as we move forward. But I might have some minor spoilers. So if I do, I'll put up a warning for spoilers because uh, you know me. I don't like to give away the full comic right when it comes out with my reviews, uh, but there is a lot to talk about here. So this might be a, sla a review slash discussion video because I have a lot to say and I'm very excited for this. It was a fun read, uh, but we're going to get into it more and I'm going to show you all the variant covers I get after I go get them. So without further ado, let's get on the highway to hell and let's pick up some Ghost Rider comics. I just got out of Legacy Comics and today I went in there and I picked up two of the variants. I got this uh, King of Hell variant by Aaron Cooter. I think that's the artist on here. I know he's the artist on the inside, but I think he might have drawn this one too. And you can see a little crown on Johnny Blaze's head there. So I was like, that's cool because I have a Johnny Blaze cover now. Uh, but then I also picked up the all black cover, which is awesome. It reminded me of uh, that one event book, which we're going to talk about, or we did talk about actually, I think in the last episode, uh, the 92 to 93 collection. I think it's in there if it's not because I'm recording this first uh, and then I'm going to go home and film the 92-93 collection uh, but there's a there was like a five-part series that had black cover like this and on the back it looked like a sealed envelope and you were basically getting an invitation to the end of the world which was awesome so I'm glad they did that for this and you can draw on it with a white marker which also is great because you're going to probably be drawing a skull uh, which is white so that's cool and so hopefully I'll find a cool artist to do a sketch on that at some point point. and then I went over to House Secrets obviously to pick up the latest Carnage book which only won this week, thank goodness, because my pocket was like, I really want to read other books, uh, but I spent most of my extra money on Ghost Rider variants, but I did pick up Punisher number 16, which does have Dan Ketch in it, and this is the final part of this storyline where, uh, you know, it has Punisher versus Baron Zemo, and Kingpin's involved, and then you have, like, Night Watch, or well, I think that was his name, or Night Thrasher, uh, and then you have um, Moon Knight and Black Widow and stuff, and Dan Ketch, so I had to get this one, because that was the last part of that, and that has a Dan Ketch appearance, and then I got two covers, two of the, you know, regular cover and variant at House Secrets. I picked up this one, which is like a chain cover, which wraps around, and it's just a chain. This is like the teaser image they put out first when the book was originally called Beware the Ghost Rider. I wish it was still called that, honestly, uh, but that's okay, because um, now we have like Ghost Rider Volume 7 or whatever this is, uh, but I would have rather had the title Beware the Ghost Rider. And then you have this cover here, which is also by Aaron Cooter, and this is the Dan Ketch cover. And what's cool about this one is uh, that there is a, I think, Symbiote of Vengeance had a cover like this of Johnny Blaze, and he's in the opposite position. He's coming out of hell, and this is Dan Ketch going into hell, and so their chains are like crossing over each other and stuff, so it's like a connecting cover or like a reverse cover of like point of views. So this is Dan Ketch's point of view, and the other one is Johnny Blaze's point of view. Um, we're gonna get into the book a little bit when I get back home, but I love these covers, I love that image, and I wish I could, I'll have to try to track down that other Johnny Blaze one so I can have it to go with this, because I think that's just a cool concept. And I think Aaron Cooter doing that is really great. And he originally intended them to both be variants for this issue, but I think Marvel made the other one a variant to either Symbiote of Vengeance or some other book, I can't remember. So I'll have to track that down at some point. So anyway, let me get home now. I got my books, I wanna go home, and we'll, I'm gonna reread Ghost Rider just one more time just to have it fresh in my head and uh, and then we're going to go over it so stay tuned yeah this book's a lot of fun um <laughs> i reread it real quick before we did you know this part because i came home walked my dog and everything and i was like all right let's sit down and reread ghost rider because i read it last night i was hooked uh, my first impressions were very high and even reading it a second time 
they're still way up there. This book is really a lot of fun. Aaron Cooter has a blast clearly drawing these characters and uh, doing the stuff with Ghost Rider. The transformations look great. Uh, actually, Ghost Rider riding around and fighting this giant demon in the middle of New York. That's a lot of fun. Um, it doesn't seem to be a lot of like real world implications. So if like he's fighting a demon in the streets, it's like this giant demon. Maybe a, there's a panel where like you see a couple of bystanders uh, seeing it, but there's like no talk about it. People aren't freaking out uh, when Dan Ketch goes back to the bar near the end of the book and he's talking to the other girl that works there. Um, you know, she doesn't say, hey, there was this giant demon that attacked like 10 blocks away. There's like nothing really like that. So uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just because they're like, oh, let's just focus on these characters in this story. But I feel like a giant demon. I mean, maybe the Marvel Universe is so used to giant threats that they don't even talk about them anymore <laughs> like everyone's bored about it uh but even then like i kind of wish you know uh ed breeson would make that part of the story then show like that side of the civilians of marvel universe because that's the one thing i think most writers are really bad at when it comes to comic books is they don't really give that you know uh, perspective that on the street perspective unless they're doing a book about it like if they're doing frontline or something they'll be like all right here's what average everyday blue collar people think of these events or maybe sometimes you'll get like one panel of it in a book or it's like someone's watching news going oh my goodness uh but then they like ig they're ignoring other things and other elements of the story and so it's just like i kind of wish some writer would come along and be like all right that happened and then like have that you know, mentioned later on. And like I said, even if they're bored, it's like a Jurassic world. What I liked about that was it was dinosaurs running around and uh, on this, you know, on this Island, everyone's going to visit and there's like teenagers texting, like they don't care. Um, and I'm like, yeah, that's kind of funny. I like that. Cause there would be, there would be people that are like, yeah, I'm over it. This is my third time to Jurassic world. I don't really care. All right. They're opening a new attraction with another dinosaur whatever. My parents made me come here. Um, so that's kind of, it's like make that part of the thing in a way. Uh, but I'm kind of jumping on around here because I don't really want to spoil any of this and I do want to give out digital code so boom the digital code right there uh, first person put that code in and I do have other copies I so I did like I said I bought four copies I got the main cover I got the chain cover um, I got the uh, the king of hell cover and then I also got the all black cover so uh, for my next couple of uh, Ghost Rider videos I will give you all a chance to win one of these uh, one of these codes here so uh, from here moving forward every Ghost Rider video I do or at least the next three they will have codes in them for the other three copies of this series uh, so uh, yeah so you'll you know get multiple chances so if you don't get on this video make sure you subscribe so you can come back on the next Ghost Rider video and we'll give away another code then. And make sure you are subscribed because, you know, I try to do Ghost Rider videos when I can, but sometimes they take a while, but I'll try to get these out as, you know, sooner than later, obviously. Um, sometime definitely between now and issue two. So, uh, yeah, but this book, it was a blast. You know, I had a fun, I had fun reading it. Ed Breeson overall does a really good job. Um, what I like most, and I put this because I got so excited, I read this last night and then I sent a letter to Marvel, like hoping to get in the letters column, column which they titled ghost writers with a w which is pretty awesome i think that's even what the old one was called too at one point but for me the thing i mentioned was i really like the uh you know the juxtaposition i guess or or like the the contrast between johnny blaze and dan ketch Dan Ketch, when this story starts, it's much like the Marvel Comics Presents issue where he bought a bar. Even though he got, he became a drunk at one point in the comics when he was like the blue ghost writer. Uh, that series was called Addict, like, you know, being addicted. And uh, and he had like this love-hate relationship with the ghost writer and, uh, or like that version of the ghost writer, the blue version. Um, I don't know if they've ever really explained in the comics how he went back to being a standard Ghost Rider and not like a heaven-based Ghost Rider anymore. Um, I think he just says the spirit of vengeance has called upon me again, and now I have no choice but to answer the call. So um, that's interesting. Uh, and I guess he's got his motorcycle back that has the medallion because that's how he turned into Ghost Rider before. But then when he became Blue Ghost Rider, he changed in other ways and now he like seems to go now he has like more of a johnny blaze transformation but in the punisher book he mentions he needs his motorcycle so it's like i don't know it's not super clear i mean it's, it's a little like they reference it but it's not like super clear so maybe they'll clear that up in upcoming issues um so i think it but as far as i know it's just the as far as i know it's just the bike and the medallion again i guess um so, but as I guess he's still hearing the spirit now. The spirit comes back and talks to him. So whatever. Uh, but uh, but he starts off the book broken. He is just a broken man. He uh, still feels guilty for what happened to Alejandra. So they reference that in this uh, when Johnny Blaze shows up. And he's 
unsure of himself. He's not confident. He's not charismatic. He's not charming. Uh, the woman that works at the bar with him that he hired to help him run the bar, she got hit, like, I guess some guys came in and got drunk and like hit on her. And, uh, and he kind of like white knighted her and stood up to the guys and they kind of punched his face in a little bit. And he was telling the spirit of vengeance, like, no, don't come out because I want to take these guys on by myself. They deserve a beating from me, not you. And uh, and then so he just sits there and gets his butt kicked pretty much, um, you know, but then he goes back in and the girl that works there is like, look, you don't know how to run a business very well. Yes, those guys were, you know, a little handsy at points and they they said some things, but they were on like their sixth beer. And when you kicked them out and had a fight with them, they didn't pay their tab yet. Like they hadn't paid anything. Uh, so we lost out on that money, which would have kind of paid me tonight working here. Uh, I didn't get any tips or nothing like that. So she's like, you don't really know how to run a business. He's like, yeah, but you shouldn't be treated like that. And she goes, I agree. But, you know, um, you know, I was I was willing to to ignore the stuff they were doing and slap their hand away if they took a reach. I was willing to do that as long as they paid their tab and then we could have kicked them out. And so uh, so there was like that fun back and forth there, I guess, between her and him, which is nice because I was like, all right, cool. They're developing this character. She's going to be a side character. I always like when they bring in like a side cast, you know, to help elevate the main character. And that's where, you know, Dan Ketch is. He's at the bottom, uh, but he's on Earth. So I like, like I said, I like the parallels here because it's like he's on earth but he's at the bottom of the food chain he's he's strung out he's you know drinking um he's kind of washed up and he's unsure of himself and uh his journey seems though to be on the rise like he's gonna go up from here whereas johnny blaze on the other hand when the book starts there's these demons that found a way to get out of hell and he's like this is like the sixth you know attempt at escape uh over the past you know whatever couple days uh i'm the new king of hell so i'm not gonna let you guys get out but like 10 or 12 demons do get out and johnny blaze traps the other ones and he has his followers that have sided with him as the new king of hell but there's a bunch of demons that are like we'll never follow you you aren't mephisto we have allegiance to him um, and, uh, and we don't have any allegiance to you. So we're going to try to break out of hell and get out of here and go cause trouble on earth where you can't get us, uh, because he's having trouble going back and forth between earth. Well, since this portal got ripped open by these other demons, he's like, okay, I can temporarily go to earth then. Uh, so he tells his loyal followers, Hey, stay here, you know, protect this uh, portal so I can come back and make sure that, um, no one else tries to come through, no other demons come through. And they're like, okay, I think the guy's name, uh, the demon that he teams up with is called Decay. And then there's a couple other ones, which I'm like, all right, cool. Decay. That's a cool name. Um, so, uh, and then there's some references to other demons that we've seen in old Ghost Rider books too, which is kind of fun. Uh, but then we get into the story and Johnny Blaze is now on earth. He talks to Dan Ketch and Johnny Blaze is confident. He's, even though he's in hell, he's the king of hell. Whereas, John, you know, Dan Ketch is on earth, but he's the bottom of the barrel on earth. Uh, so you, so so they're like right next to each other, king of hell and bottom of earth. They, you know, they got to be really close to each other. Uh, but, uh, but they, you know, but Johnny Blaze's story is his is on the decline. It's him losing. He has all the power and he loves it and it's going to his head and it's causing him to decline into evil. Whereas Dan Ketch rejects his power, uh, but he ultimately uses it for good. And so, ah, man, I'm loving that. And I love that that they're doing that with Dan Ketch and they're really, even though he's washed up and he's kind of strung out and he's an, kind of older at this point, like, you know, he's got to be pushing 40, maybe he's like getting my age. Um, I, I love reading this. It's, it's really, really good. And I can uh, relate in a way I'm watching this guy and I'm like, I feel at the bottom sometimes. And I feel like, you know, I don't drink, I can't drink because of my, you know, conditions and stuff, but it's like, I, I know, man, I know how it is, <laughs> you know, to be at the bottom. And, uh, and so seeing him, struggle but really try to do the right thing it's like man who of us doesn't want to be like that on some level we struggle but we still hope we'll do the right thing and dan's that guy and johnny is not anymore he is falling big time so uh, i like that they're, they're, that's their parallel johnny's at the king of hell but he's falling and dan's at the bottom of earth but he's rising um i hope that continues i hope that's the ultimate theme and and focus of the story and of the characters arcs uh they do mention a big war is coming mephisto is you know locked up in hotel inferno from the damnation doctor strange storyline and wong is the one protecting the door making sure mephisto doesn't come out so i like that there's some doctor strange ties in there uh which is awesome and, and giving wong a role in this too to keep an eye on mephisto 
Um, and then Mephisto says, well, there's competition. I was in charge of hell for all these years, but there was others that had it before or wanted it, and they were my competition. And now they're going to start coming out of the woodworks uh, because none of them are going to want to follow Johnny Blaze. And we start to see that with Lilith, the return of Lilith, which is great. I'm so glad they're bringing that character back. She was a big pain in Dan Ketch's butt throughout his series in the 90s. So uh, I love what they're setting up here. I love everything. I don't want to talk too much more about it because I feel like I'm going to get too much into spoilers. So uh, please go out and get this book. If you haven't read it yet, you really should. If you're new to Ghost Rider, this is a good way to jump in, but I would still suggest picking up, like if you watch my last video on Ghost Rider, it was called The Road to Ghost Rider, um, and that had like all the titles from Marvel Comics Presents number six, leading all the way up to this one, which I hope they do a cool trade paperback for. That would be awesome. Uh, Marvel, please do that. Put in the Punisher issues, because I do have Punisher 16 here, so put in those five Punisher issues, put in Marvel Comics Presents, put in like the three or four Avengers issues that have uh, Johnny Blaze being the King of Hell, racing against Robbie Reyes, and then put in like um, the uh, Symbiote of Vengeance book if you put all like 10 or 12 of those in one like hardcover or big trade paperback for like 30 or 40 bucks uh i will definitely buy one for sure but that way it'll get everyone caught up and it'll give them like the backstory a little bit of what's been happening on ghost rider and then also pick up dr strange damnation because that really sets up johnny blaze as being the new king of hell and that leads us to the road of where we are now, where his descent has begun. So, uh, yeah, this series, uh, you know, this issue, at least for the first one, it was fantastic. And I hope the series just keeps going forward. And I like that they use the 90s font and it's like a full on return to Dan Ketch. Uh, but he's a different Dan Ketch, but he's still like Dan Ketch. You know, there's so many Dan Ketch things about him. And they talk about his relationship that, you know, the girl that he was with in the comics, they're not together anymore. She went off and had a family and he kind of wished it was him um, that had the family with her. So he has regrets there um you know and they talk about his family his mother and uh, who is francis his mother's francis i think i made a mistake in the other video where i called her barbara i think barbara was his sister i believe so um so many good things uh, so many good things in this and i don't want to spoil anymore so please go pick this up and if you have read it let me know down below what you think of the comic and if you got the digital copy let me know what your review is in the comments down below and we'll continue our conversation down there thanks so much for watching the show as always like share, subscribe all that fun stuff and we'll see you in the future peace